stop it. Can't swim, the duck can't swim. All ducks can swim. You don't have to rush, Rachel. Nobody's going to mind if you're late. Come on. Up you come. There. Ring them up and tell them. Yes, but the programme starts at 5.25. Anyway, it's not a duck, it's a robot fish. A robot fish? Then it can swim, can't it? Only when I tell it to. <laughs> don't forget your homework. And don't forget the jam. Take at least three jars. I want to get rid of it. It was a bit of a failure, the jam. You know, we haven't been to the cinema for ages. What made you think of that? She's never been, has she? We should all go. I lived in the cinema when I was four. Your teeth clean. You'll probably notice. We'll collect you about eight, OK. Can't remember where we're going now. I think it's drinks for that family of dentists. That Australian dentist. Don't think we'll be long somehow. I'm not sure if I need this or not. Do you think I need this, Dad? You look very smart. What's happened? Has there been an accident? No, no, just stay in the car, OK? Thank you. We'll have the traffic flowing in a minute. You're not wearing your seatbelt, sir. I think they'll all swarm round if I try to get out.
want the picture of the lion on the No, your husband's room. Don't switch the light on, please. In Nottinghamshire, police are mounting a full-scale search for schoolgirl Rachel Lindsay, who was reported missing yesterday. I've never seen that photograph she was before, I don't think. Light brown I didn't want to see this. And she set out late yesterday afternoon to visit but the more of it there is, the better. A red bicycle was found on Somebody may remember road. something. Rachel will be 12 in two weeks. Stay here. You don't have to watch. Her father, Tom Lindsay, a production manager at the nearby Bryant Shoe Factory, spoke to our reporter. Rachel, if anyone's uh, got you or if you're in trouble, love, we understand. Give us a ring. Meanwhile, in Oxfordshire, a new appeal was issued today by police searching for 12 year old Andrew Turner, the Reading School boy who was. Christ, it's quiet. It always is quiet. I've never noticed it before. Are you still there? I can hardly see you. Am I talking too much? Don't put the light on. Just being nosy. You can leave that to us. Now, you know what I've come for. I just wondered if any of the children had said anything at all about my daughter, or maybe had heard something. No. Now, somebody has got to say this to you, Mr. Lindsay. I don't think it helps you, or the children, you coming here so often. Do you understand what I mean? It's becoming a habit. I think you ought to stop doing it if you possibly can. Come on. It's incredible. We've been living here 10 years and not a sound out of them and suddenly they start getting phone calls at four o'clock in the morning. Answer your bloody phone! They wouldn't ring us at night anyway, the police. They would if it was good news. You think you know, don't you? I've got a fish this morning. Yeah. Have you guess? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't spying. Just want to ask you something. Uh, have you heard any news about Rachel yet? No. Don't know where she is, do you? No. 
How could we know? Well, you were friends, weren't you? Well, what do you think, Mr. Lindsay? We'll start falling out if you do that. Come on, Carol. Come on, Carol. You said you don't need my own work. Come on. Did you know she'd take these, did you? I'm not sure. Why should it matter? Don't you see, if you're thinking of going somewhere, you take pictures like that, don't you? We've been through all that so many times. And they were hidden at the back of the cupboard, sort of hidden. There are two missing, and she looks older, see? She doesn't look older. I don't see her looking older. Of course you do, her hair. She's done her hair. Kids take photos of themselves all the time. Even I used to do that. It's the commonest thing in the world. She's made herself look older. She's transformed herself. Look, they're stupid little photos, that's all. Just kids' photos. What do you think they prove? That she planned some complicated scheme? She hatched some secret plot, thought everything out in advance. That's rubbish! They prove nothing! Nothing! Do you invent all these things? You go up to her room again and again. You find something else that you say has been hidden. That's about 20 things now. You construct all sorts of theories about it, and then you try and persuade me. It's all just total fantasy. She's been gone for two years, for Christ's sake. If you want to raise your hopes, you do that. But not for me, not anymore. I can't stand this false hope. It gnaws away all the time. There's no possible way she wouldn't have been in touch. We have to face that. i 
something which you may not know about. I take it you've got a moment. Who are you? I was just coming to that. My name's Martin Wilkins, which won't mean anything to you, at least it's unlikely to. But I just wondered if you'd heard of our organization. What organization? We're a group calling itself Support. I don't know if you saw our advertisement in the local paper, and there was a reasonable article about it last week with photos. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> anyway, we're a group based in Coventry, formed to give beautiful <laughs> made up entirely of people whose relations or loved ones, husbands, wives, children, etc., have gone missing. Does that include pets? Naturally not. We are holding an open meeting, and I wondered if there was... <laughs> for the full programme for today. They're all clearly marked with a badge, reading uh, Stuart, naturally enough, and uh, they'll be keeping their eye open for you too. We can usually spot a first-timer. Uh, do we have a, a Mr. Thomas or Tom Lindsay? Mrs. Helen Turner. Anyone for the three o'clock discussion, it's ten minutes and it's that way. A uh, reminder, the deep end has been designated as a play area and uh, some mild refreshments can be found over here. Now, I'm going to have one more go with these names. Is, is Mr. Tom Lindsay here yet? Mr. Lindsay? And a Mrs. Helen Turner? Ah. Oh. Seems not. Okay. How many more meetings are there here today? You ought to know your own program, wouldn't you? No. On this in an ashtray. I'm a fake. It's to stop them pouncing on me. That's exactly why I was trying to avoid you when I saw you prowling over there. I really don't want to be made to play party games. Touch the person next to you and feel happy, that sort of thing. I buried my nose in food. I thought I'd seen you somewhere before, that's why. I'm not here, you haven't. How far have you come to be here? Reading. Reading? You come all the way from there? Well, organisations like this don't exactly spring up on your doorstep. I couldn't resist the invitation. Missing persons band together. They don't look like they're banding together. It's extraordinary the compulsion some people have to organise things, isn't it? There's a lot of weirdos here today, aren't there? You can see why some of them were left, can't you? Whoever went had a point. I find myself staring at every child when I go outside. All sizes. The television's the worst. I get transfixed. Watching the backgrounds whenever they show a public place. Or anything with kids in it. It's not as stupid as it sounds. No. Yes, there's quite a collection, isn't there, Mr. Lindsay? Come here if you could. There is Mrs. Turner, isn't it? In here. I see you've promoted yourself, Mr. Lindsay. Making rapid progress in our little organisation. Uh, have a seat. 
both of you. Um, there. Yes. <laughs> I must apologize for the decorations. Yes. I share the office with the local motorcycle club. And I throw out a few ideas to see where they land. Three points only. One, and the most obvious, get out of the home and the workplace as much as possible. Choose a place you think a person might even remotely be. A little bell goes off at the back of your head and you remember them saying, I really would like to go to Cornwall. Or... London is a very exciting place. Go there, for God's sake. I know you've thought about it. Done it for the day, got suicidally depressed. But do it. Bus stations, rail stations are very important hunting grounds. I have good contacts with various local radio stations. There's a list. Mention my name. Two. Don't worry about others thinking you're peculiar. Obsessively searching years after the event, becoming a bit grotesque, a laughing stock. I'm not sure I need to hear this. Three, don't ever think that she or he doesn't want you to find her. Of course she does. Of course they do. Don't give it a second thought. That's the most important of all. <laughs> any minute, I thought he was going to ask if he had any mucky calendars. Yes, he had such a strange face, didn't he? All sort of spongy. Did you see his skin? It wasn't just his fingers that were stained yellow. The whole of him was. Well, all that was visible, anyway. Still, no one else has taken any interest. Not once the news value wears off. Anyway, here's his useful list. Yes, it's difficult even to imagine, isn't it? I mean, going to a city to search. How could you possibly even begin? Who are you missing? Your son or your daughter? Your daughter. It's been nearly two years. You got a picture? Yes, several. About 15. All this turns one into the boring parent, I've tried not to be. Showing off pictures of your children. Just keep giving them to people, just in case. What a pretty girl. And you? Who have you lost? My son. It's been over two years. He was 12. Andrew. I know he's still alive. I just know it. Well, I've got to rush. Goodbye. You sure you're not going to come? No. You'll only be gone the weekend. I was thinking, if I do meet her, what do I want to look like? Has anybody got this seat? No, not yet. You're going to London too? No, unfortunately. Just passing through. I'm going back to school. Back to boarding school in Sussex. I've been absent for a few days. Have you run away? No, not really. I just went to stay with some rather extraordinary people. Without permission. I'm not going to tell you who they were. They were much brighter than the teachers, though. I'm not so fucking gloomy about everything. I can't stay long, I'm afraid. I haven't got a ticket. Where are you staying in London? I don't know. Can you recommend anywhere? A hotel. Oh, yes. I'll think about it. This is my school skirt. I've got to let it down before I get to London. I've taken so many inches off it. I'll be unrecognisable by the time we get to London. Just fucking normal again. Sorry, but I think I'd better be moving. Thank you. Thank you. 
please. Thank you. How much are the adverts? And that's only a quarter an inch. No, I didn't realise. Just one week. I'll think about it. I said I'll think about it. Excuse me, I'm the father of this girl. She's Rachel Lindsay. She disappeared two years ago. Have you? I shouldn't think so. I'm new here. No, but I'm pretty new here. Three days. We're shut now. If you'd like to come. Well, just back... take some of these. Show them to people. Go on, take lots. Thanks. Just look at this picture. This is my daughter. Have you seen her? Oh, you're wasting your time showing it to me. I never remember anybody's face. Show it to my brother. He never forgets. Never forgets a single person. Even businessmen. Plenty of people wish he would. He'd have got yours by now. Come on. Check. Nah. I ain't seen her at all. You sure? You sure? You don't need to look twice. Can I keep this? Yes, go on. You're going to give one of these to people looking for her, right? Well, don't bother. I've known people do this sort of thing for months, years even. It don't work. But if he sees her, I'll let you know. And that's a promise, right? Take it easy. Can you hurry up, please? There's only another minute to do. We've got a red white Okay, quick as you can. Ten minutes, we have our final hate week. Not before time. Your last five least favourite records of the year. We'll also be hearing about a new London moth found only in a certain men's club in St James. But first, we'll be listening to a Mr Tom Lindsay. So you met that old nutter Wilkins, did you? I went to one of those strange meetings. He was very much apparent. Okay. It's one word of warning. Don't give your address whatever happens. Any response to this should come through us. We'll weed out the living. I must thank you for being the only one to respond and let me come on the show and try to do this. I knew someone once. Something similar happened to him. Okay, so the last of our hate week in just a moment. But with me now is Mr. Tom Lindsay whose daughter disappeared two years ago. The kind of thing you hope is never going to happen to you until maybe it does. And about this time, two years ago, she went to the end of the road and vanished. And now, here's Tom. Yes. Yes, I've come to London to find my daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. A totally impossible mission, I expect, you think. <laughs> maybe. But uh, here goes. So, Rachel... So, if you're out there listening somewhere, love, and you can't speak freely, you've been kept somewhere. 
I'm in London. Try to contact me somehow. And if there's anybody who knows anything, I repeat anything about her. Not very tall, dark, fairly pretty. How do you paint a picture of someone on the radio? A young girl. Get in touch immediately. And I'm staying, and listen to this, in room 217 at the Grosvenor Hotel, Victoria. That's room... <laughs> Is Helen there? Oh, she's just eating her supper. Uh, we were just in the middle of... Oh, hang on a minute. She's here. Yes? It's me. Tom Lindsay. The fake steward. <laughs> yeah, I got your cryptic message. I've just seen it. Well, there was nothing cryptic about it. It was my phone number. I thought you might want it. I took Wilkins' advice. I'm in London, searching. Oh, you have? It's funny, I was thinking... Oh, my husband's working very hard. I thought I might do that. Rachel? Hello, Dad. Who are you? What do you mean by doing this? You're not Rachel. Can I come in, Dad? Been listening to your radio. You thought this was clever? Radio. What a mindless thing to do. Stupid little joke. Did you think this up or did it take a whole group of you? You would let me use your bathroom, would you? I'm only drinking water. There's nothing illegal in that. like you're married and walk like you're married and buy certain things like soup and rolls and rolls of toilet paper and she must have a home they think <sighs> got any money didn't anybody try and stop you getting in here into the hotel Getting in here. You can sleep in these places free so easily. I don't know why anybody bothers to pay. I can show you how. No, I mean it. You going to give me any money? You want her underneath all that makeup. You're nothing like her. Is it crazy, are you? You don't know anything about her, do you, about Rachel? Let me go! And then we were seen, me clutching this underage girl. I think she was underage. And then she ran off. But this voice saying, hello, Dad. You can imagine the effect. It was like being hit on the back of the neck. You're alone in London for a few days, and look what happens to you. And you know when I heard her say that, I thought, why not? Why shouldn't it happen like that? Why not? You know that glazed look people get when you say, I think he's alive? I mean, like about my son, you know? How long has he been gone, dear? You say two years. 
And they sort of look away, sideways. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's it exactly. Poor batty woman. Which is no doubt exactly what I am. Would you like a sweet, madam? Yes, please. I was glued to the train window like a kid coming down here. My husband thinks I'm crazy. Sir. No, thanks. The last time I stayed alone in London, I was a hippie. Must be 14 years ago. How much longer are you staying? I'm going back tomorrow. Or the day after. I'm meant to be here. Uh... I'm not going to sleep with you, you know. What was that? What did you say? You heard. I just thought I felt it looming, that's all. And I don't want it looming. Maybe I'm being a little premature, but I don't think so. Just wanted to make it clear. Couldn't be clearer. I think we ought to split up and meet back here in two days' time. Unless, of course... We find somebody. Would you recognise her? If you saw Rachel? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing you're going to have to learn to do. Hey! Hey! It's learning to get them to stop in the street. Getting them to turn round for you. So that you can see their faces. to go out during the day. I know, I've been to five already. Well, she wouldn't be here, not that young. We wouldn't allow her to stay. Deborah. I mean, would you want to stay here during the day? You haven't seen this girl, have you? She's my daughter.
and make it to the end of the passage. Where is the end of the passage, anyway? Yes, it seems to be growing longer. Oh. Uh, yes, watch out for shoes. I expect they're going to keep this appalling music going all night to stop anybody sleeping. <sighs> I used to play in a band. That I would never have guessed. What do you mean? What? Nothing. Where was this? It was in Liverpool. Near Liverpool. I was going to be a musician when I left school. I'm not even sure if my room is on this floor. It's not. Wait a minute, this is your room, isn't it? Yes, you better come in. I've not got the strength to get to the lift. That might be true. Whoops! What are you doing with all those? <laughs> I eat them. Did you ever do that? They're free. You'll get fat. No, not while I'm searching for Andrew, I won't. I never put on weight. If I ever stop, which I won't, I start to balloon up. Well, let's celebrate getting this far. Apple juice? Well, it'll have to do. A big room. Yes, the whole hotel's pretty strange, isn't it? It's probably rather magnificent ones. It's most peculiarly designed, though. <laughs> I was going to be an architect when I left school. 20 seconds ago, it was a musician. That's right, I was going to be a musician and an architect, and possibly as a little optional extra, an actor as well. Sort of stuck Port Orson Wells. Oh, come on, shut up. Two or three careers seemed quite a modest ambition at the time. Almost slacking. Oh, I've got the whole of London on me. I don't think I've got the strength to get it off. <sighs> Aren't you going to wash? <laughs> Sound really horrified. No, I haven't got the strength. Come on, come on here. Oh, careful! Don't be rough. I think my arms will drop off if there's any sudden movement. Oh, gently. <sighs> Oh, careful. That's really quite reasonable. Not bad at all. You've obviously done this before. Only to me, kids. That's what I meant. Sure, we were both terrific parents. I don't. I don't. It tickles. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Oh, come on, your ears. Come on. You need to be that clean. <laughs> They're only tears of exhaustion. Come on, you should dry yourself. You mustn't. I can see quite clearly what you're doing. How come? Because, in your own way, you're quite predictable, really. You should stop paying me compliments. Really not necessary.
We look like a couple from the 30s who have been forced to share a hotel room. Hmm. Except it would have been the other way round. I would have had the bed. I think I've just seen Andrew. He's down there! Seven. There. Yes, it just escaped my notice for the moment. Do you know him? No. I've no idea. Yes. Is Mr. Trevor Field there? Speaking. This is Tom Lindsay. I received your. Good. Yes. Do you know where she is? Yes. It'll be difficult, but I'm going to take you there today. I've got to be quick now. I'll meet you outside your hotel tonight at 8 o'clock. So make sure you get there. Mr. Lindsay. Good. I am Trevor Field. Uh, it's getting late. I think we'd better go straight away. Uh, she can come too, can't she? I'll wait here if you'd rather. I think that should be all right, if we're lucky. Come on. Uh, is she expecting us? Does she know I'm coming? Yes, I managed to tell her. You've had such a wait, of course. If only I'd known earlier, put two and two together before I heard you on the radio. This is the shortest way, I think. When we get there, it's best if you let me do the talking. Just agree with everything they say. Keep nodding. It's built like this because of bombs, but anyone can just wander in. I met your daughter around here. 
We use this place, you know. My organization. I've been arranging it for the last few years. Ideal storage place. What organization is that? I think Tom. We've got live ammunition here. Quite a lot. More than you would think. We've got some weaklings, unfortunately, just now. Only a few. We've managed to start on the vermin. The real vermin, of course, and we're being successful. You don't know where she is, do you? Do you? I'm telling you something much more interesting than that. I warn you, I've got people who will come if you try anything. We would be a genuine nutcase, wouldn't we, Ellen? Get out of here before I break your skull. We're going to take it in turns. Well, I'll start. You deserve it anyway. What happened to you? Oh, no point in looking surprised. We all know what you sort of people get up to. That's so... Oh, come on, let's just move. There's nobody I'd rather see it happen to than you two. Nobody. See? Your, your, your wife knows. She knows I'm right. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. She deserved it. Get out of here now. Well, could have been worse. Just. You could have mugged us. Hmm. Maybe you just forgot that part. Two milkshakes. Great. Mmm. I've forgotten how good they are. <sighs> We're running out of time, aren't we? Got to get back. Well, let's give it till tomorrow. Can't be any worse than today, can it? Can't it? It was much easier for us, wasn't it? What? When we were kids. We were much luckier. I'd hate to be growing up now. Yes, who is it? Yes. What is it? No. Well, if you get there at 7 30 tomorrow morning. 7 30? What do you mean I'll see you? What do you think of me? But don't be late. And who are you? Rachel. <sighs> 
It is you. I was shouting. I couldn't make you hear me. I nearly didn't. But it is you. Yes. What are you doing in London? You on business? How did you come to find me? I don't know. I'm not sure how it happened. Somebody rang me up. It's too complicated. You've got a bracelet. Isn't that lovely? What happened to you, love? Did you come up looking? Just for today? No, no, it wasn't that easy. I'm staying in a hotel. Don't do that, it'll fall out. A hotel? That's nice. Is Mum with you? No, no, she's at home. Mum's waiting at home. She's been worried, of course, naturally, but she's well. Listen, Dad, I have to go, but I'll meet you. 11.30 tomorrow, the Burlington Arcade. Hey, Rachel! Rachel! Sorry about this, love, but if you knew the reason why, I think you'd let me. Hello? Gillian? Gillian? Can you hear me? We'll meet you together. Okay, I'll come. Are you sure, Tom? Just one more call, love. It's an important moment in my life, you see. who said she couldn't be alive. She has to be dead. You have to accept the inevitable. No, you did it. You know. did it. And the way we talked to you, when I saw that, you should have heard it. It was so formal. It was you or Rachel? It was so extraordinary. That's a ridiculous understatement. Are you pleased to see me? Are you pleased to see me? Oh. <laughs> Just like picking her up from school. Yeah. What do about Andrew? <laughs> that he could still be alive after two years. I'm sweating far more than you for some reason. Why do they put you in a shoe cupboard? Hmm. You must be popular around here. It's so busy out there now. Do you think anybody heard us? <sighs> 
Does it matter? I'm not exactly underage. Yes. I feel just like at school. Sounds like it, doesn't it? They're about to come in and discover us and we'll get expelled. I was very good at school, at work. I was going to be a marine biologist. No, I was, don't laugh. No, I can believe it. And have hundreds of lovers. <laughs> the two usually go together, apparently. But I wanted children so much. I didn't think very much further than that. Find my husband and have fantastic babies. It took me three years to have Andrew. A sense of achievement. Oh, you can't imagine. It was... It was quite great. Then when he went... Andrew, my boy... It's very difficult. You know, frightened to sleep in case you dream about him being alive. About finding him. Waking up feeling so excited, your whole body's ringing with it. And then he's not there. You're not listening to me, are you? Of course I am. <laughs> I know what you think. No, you I'm... weren't. Oh, I don't blame you. I'd be incredibly excited if it was me. <laughs> Obviously. I can hear your brain whirring away. Just feels a little odd. I haven't seen you smoke before. I shouldn't be talking to you anymore, of course. You'll be in disgrace. With Wilkins and the Missing Persons Society. You've been successful. I hope. What do you mean? You found her? No, it's just... Do you think she'll come tomorrow? Of course. Yes. I expect so. If she can get away from whatever it is that's selling her. <laughs> Might be difficult for her. I don't know where she's living where she's being held. I'm suddenly, for the first time, really, I feel quite nervous, Helen. Anybody know you here? No, I don't think so. I bought you some donuts. The first of many celebrations, so we can make pigs of ourselves. Here. Thanks. I still like these. Not cold, are you? No. You're right under there. Okay. Just reminding myself what you look like. I thought you might have purple patches in your ear. Have it done up in spikes, you know, bald old ear. No, I never had it like that. 
Those aren't the clothes you disappeared in. Well, I haven't been wearing the same clothes for two years. That'd be quite a sight. They would just be rags. Who gave them to you? How did you get them? I'd buy them. Why did you deliberately choose a place like this? Did they make you choose this place? I think we'd better move. No, it's OK here. And anyway, we can't go anywhere else. What does that remind you of? You possibly never saw it. That was the jam by your bicycle on the road. It's hardly been out of my mind for two years. What have they been doing to you, love? Who? You sure nobody followed you here? Is it a religious thing? Those fanatics? An organization? We can leave it till we get home. It's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. We're meeting your mother at the station. We're gonna have a day of celebration. We'll have a wonderful meal together and then we're all gonna go home. I'm not coming back with you, Dad. I'm not coming back. Come on, you're safe now. Don't try and grab me, please, cos I'll scream. And don't you try to run away, Rachel. I'll have to call the police. Don't send for the police, cos if you do, they won't be able to find me and you'll never see me again. You understand? I'll meet you. Are you listening? Day after tomorrow, St Pancras, three o'clock. What are you looking at me like that for? So have you told the police about this? No. No, and I'm not going to. I can't miss them coming in and fucking it all up. She'll vanish straight back into the city again. Tom, come here. Look at me. Why haven't you been phoning me? What do you mean? What's that got to do with it? It's most unlike you not to phone. been getting messages every day demanding to know when you're going to be back at work. I've been saying you're ill. There's no need to say I'm ill. I'll call them to explain. They're going to get rid of you if you don't come back soon. They just can't afford to keep you on. Okay, all right. Have you met somebody down here, Tom? What do you mean by that? It's Rachel who... You have, haven't you? Have what? Oh, don't try that, Tom. You're always a hopeless liar. It shows all over you. Was it at the hotel, this woman, this girl? I can promise you it has absolutely nothing to do with me finding Rachel. Prove it to me. Come back. Come now, with me. Aren't you going to? No, I can't. Tom, come back, please. Listen, don't you see? I can't. Hey! Hey, you want a drink? Come on. We've got to stop you walking around in circles. It's not helping. 
Think here. I told you what that if you tried to look for her, the daughter you lost. I found her. She's gone again. I hurt all over, man. You know that feeling. You won't know that feeling, would you? It's my head. It's fucking pounding inside. Oh, it's his head now. Why your head? Hey, that girl and me. We do the same job. Yeah, you're here every day. Like me. What's she saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. Just she earns more than me. Yeah. On average, she gets paid more than me, that one. You've got a lot of competition there. This year, haven't you? They don't like it when there's a fucking rail strike. Do ya? Do ya? I'd see you again. I'm not staying. I can't stay. You were so insistent on the telephone. Uh, and I had to come up to London anyway to do all the shopping. We've got a dinner party. I hate cooking. Some business friends of my husband. Well, they're, they're hardly friends, really. Anyway, I can't stay. I've only got a second. Yes. I would have liked to have seen Rachel. I'd have liked to have brought her. I don't know what's happened. When I meet her, she always leaves suddenly. Somebody's stopping her, not letting her come. Yes, you told me. Make a change if somebody believed me. Well, I believe you. But I can't help you, Tom. I didn't ask you to. I know. But you were going to. You'll think of something. You'll manage. You look all different. Do I? This is how I usually look when I come to London. You haven't stopped looking, have you? For Andrew? Oh, no. It's worse than ever. Even today, I've put in several hours worth. You're putting on weight, aren't you? That's right. I didn't think it showed. Well, I really must go. I've uh, got to get one or two things at Fortnum's before it closes. I expect we'll meet again. You know, bump into each other. Where? On a train, maybe. 
at Wilkins' anniversary party. got hidden there. One of those bloody leaflets.
it shall stop it. Stop this. You can't get out of here. No point in you doing that. Help me! Help me! Help! I've got you here at last. Rachel, neither of us is leaving this room till you're ready to go home. You ran away for two years to hand out those pathetic little leaflets, to do that ludicrous little job, your work. Nobody believed you were alive except me. Do you realize that? And look at you now. fall asleep. So don't think you can get away from here like that. I can outstare you, Rachel. Are you coming home with me? All the time I was looking for you, I thought it would be like a police series on telly. Finding you being held by a mad axeman or something. I wish it was true. searches for his daughter for two years. Prepared to forgive her anything. Drug addiction. Become a, a prostitute. And when he finds her, she makes him so angry. He kills her. training home. Otherwise you'll only end up with the police one. Where will that have got you? Oh, 
Okay. I don't care if we never leave this room again. You're going to talk to me. You've not been pumping yourself full of drugs. You're not brainwashed by anybody. You're not, are you? You know exactly what you're doing, don't you? Have you any idea what you made us go through every day for two years? We didn't know whether you were dead, kidnapped with people holding guns in your head, or buried in some ditch. Every time the phone rang, you used that tiny, non-existent imagination of yours. Every time this rings, you think about that, what we went through. You don't know what worry means, do you? You have no conception, have you? My whole life's been torn apart because of you. I probably lost my job because of you. I met a woman I would never have met otherwise, who's had an effect on me and on your mother. I dedicated my whole life to finding you, to rescuing you from whatever it was. And I find you quite safe, living in this normal house, doing this pathetic toy job. Did we? Come on, you're going to answer me that. Come on, my little daughter. No, you didn't. Are you going to come on with me peacefully or not? Turn to your beds and have a jolly good night's sleep. No. You want to go back in again now, do you? You're not going to. I got you this far, we're going to stay here. Jillian? Hello? Who's, who's that? Tom, is that you? What's happened? Are you all right? Where no. are you? Go on. Say hello to your mother. Say hello. Go on! 
on! Hello, Mum. I found her, yes. Jillian, I've told you I've got her. Jillian, you're not going to believe this. I found her, but I can't get her back. I can't get her to come home. I've tried everything except the police. Jillian, I can't get her to come home. It's crazy. She's doing this ridiculous thing, these leaflets, this, this job. She's got it into her age. She has to find work. All these kids, stray kids, I've seen little ones, just running away to find work. It's just extraordinary. It's just this blankness I get from her. Your own children. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe that she could be so cruel. After all, it's time I'm sorry, love. I've not done this since I was five. I don't know what's happening. It's ridiculous. Is open now. So hungry. to go on and then something happened. I saw the path. I thought, I have to go now. I do now. I thought about it for a long time. A moment. It just happened. I've thought about that moment every day for two years. Lots and lots of times I thought, I'll ring them or I'll write to them, you and Mum. I nearly did. I went to a box, but I had to stay here. I didn't want to go back. And it got longer and longer. The time. I know it doesn't explain it very well. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You were 11 when you left. Yes. If you'd known, you would have brought me back. <clears throat> well, at least I saw the city the way 
You'll see it a bit. It's falling to bits, isn't it? You survived it. I love you. I'm not coming home with you, Dad. Not today. I've got to work. To work, yes. You know where I live? You can come to my room. Come tomorrow if you want. With Mum? Yes. But I've got to go to work now. We'll come tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Letting you go again. Now look at me. I'm trusting you. God knows why, but I am. Yes. Can't lose you twice. No. You won't. You won't.